guys, time to open my new vest. So when I received my vest, it came in a cardboard box and then it came in this suitcase, which is really nice because it's a protective rolling suitcase that is made just for the vest. So when you open up the main compartment here, you'll see that the vest machine is in this middle section. And when you take it out, look how big my muscles are. Um, you can see these protective panels that are made so that when traveling, the vest is securely in there and they're padded and it's great. Um, you can keep whatever up in here. Right now, the manual's still in there. But if you're traveling and you wanna keep like some of your nebulizer pieces or whatever, you can keep it up in there. Um, and then in the sides, um, in this side, it was the electrical cord, which I already have plugged in. Mm. And it just looks like this. And then it plugs into the back. Um, I thought this was interesting. The old, and when I say old, I mean the 104 model of the Hillrom vest. This is the 105. Um, the 104 had an electrical cord that plugged in the back just like that, but it was a three prong that went into the wall and this one's just a two prong. So, interesting. Okay, so in this, in the other side of the vest bag, are the tubes and there we go oh one more thing it comes with another little contraption cord thing I've never even taken it out of the bag so this thing I don't actually really understand except that I know what it does you plug it into the front I believe you plug it in right here and then you can turn on and turn off the vest by using this? I don't really know, actually. I don't know. So You should that, try it. Yeah, I could try it. That would be an adventure. So the new vest tubes have a special mechanism. Hard plastic, spinny thing on the end. And instead of the old way of doing things, where you take the rubber ended thing and jam it in the hole not anymore you take the locking mechanism you line up you line up the mark and then twist and it's in place so line it up twist it and it's in place and i was told by the company that those locking mechanisms are quite fragile so you really don't want to jam it in like you did with the old kind. So that's good to know. The other end of the tubes are just like the, the old ones, just normal and you just jam them into your vest. Okay, so this style Hillrom vest is programmable. So you can customize your treatment. I do 30 minutes twice a day, sometimes more, usually 30 minutes twice a day. Um, and then I usually supplement with manual chest PT during the day at some point, or as needed. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and get it started. Getting all buckled up. All right, so when you go to start your treatment, um, you'll set up with your doctor, respiratory therapist, somebody will help you understand the settings on the vest. Um, I have found that the setting that works best for me is I push normal and then I have this first setting on 20. This is how fast the air is pulsating. So you can have it quite slow and it'd be, well, I'll just go ahead and demonstrate it actually. Oh, I don't remember it going that low. This should be interesting. Um, and then this, the middle one is the pressure, how tightly the vest is squeezing you basically. Um, I keep it on five. It's harder to tolerate at higher levels for me. Um, it just makes me feel more like 
can't get a deep breath. So five has been a good level for me right now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and press on and that starts the treatment. You'll feel it inflate first. And I usually pull it down as it's inflating so it doesn't ride up. So as it's inflating, I just hold the bottom edge of the vest. And then to start, this is, it's fully inflated. And then to start the oscillation, you just push on again. Here it goes. Uh, so it starts off slowly and it works its way up to whatever speed you've had, you have it set out. Whoa, that slower setting is weird. Okay, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go up. I don't know, I don't remember that really low setting. Anyway, um, you'll hear in my voice it'll change. I'll just make a noise and then I'll put the frequency up and you'll be able to hear it. <sighs> so you can hear that my voice is going quicker and quicker and quicker with the faster that I turn up the frequency on the best set. Okay, so that's, I'm now at 20. So lastly, let's just figure out what this thing does. Maybe I should read the directions, or maybe we should just figure it out. So it's like this blood pressure cup thingy, which is really fun to squish, actually. So even if you don't use it, it's like a free stress ball add-on. Add okay, so... Wow! Whoa! I squeezed it and it shut off. Look at that. How does it do that just by air? That's really cool. That's amazing. Wow. See the old one, if I remember correctly, the very old kind of vest, it was this like 40 pound, metal hunk of metal machinery. The, the thingy that was with it was a little circular kind of pad thing. And if I remember correctly, when you sit on it, it makes the vest go. And when you come off of it, it makes the vest stop. Or you could unplug it and just use the buttons, which it wasn't, they weren't buttons back then, it was a dial. Um, Okay, that is really nice. That so theoretically you could put this like down on the floor or like somewhere more removed and then you don't have to press the button. That's really cool. Okay, well, I recommend the black squeezy thing. I was gonna see, I'm so used to pausing it on the machine. It's so nice. Do you think I'm gonna use this from now on? I don't know. I think so. Well guys, that is my Hillrom vest unboxing. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and I hope this was informative and fun. And because I'm a complete CF nerd, it, it was so much fun to get my new vest in the mail. Even though it's pretty much the same thing, there were a few little fun gadgets that came along with it. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps us to understand that you guys like this sort of video or maybe you don't like this sort of video. So it's good to hear from you guys in the comments about what sort of things CF wise that you would like to see more videos on. Thank you so much and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.